This is Scott Bywitter, and today I talk to, like to talk about how to measure your success when it comes to, you know, really creating, you know, selling more to your existing customers. Because the reason it's important to to measure your success is for the simple reason that as humans we're feedback machines. So humans love, uh, you know, love feedback. It's one of the reasons, you know, if you if you start a, let's say you start a weight loss program and you lose seven kilos in the first week, you're far more likely to then stick with that weight loss program because you've lost the weight. You're, you know, you're happy. You've got, you know, you've got the results that you want. By the same token, many people um, we're feedback machines in the fact that uh, and food is. Food gives us the instant feedback, i.e. if I eat that cake, I'm going to feel good instantly. Um, so we, we like to, you know, we like to know that there's an, there's an end result uh, for whatever, you know, we're doing, whatever we're, we're investing our, our energy um, and our attention, attention into. So, so if we can actually measure specifically how all those activities we're, you know, we're doing with our existing customers are paying off, we're far more likely to stick with that, you know, to stick with that activity um, and and follow through, you know, with that specific spe- specific activity. So let's 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 start out by really digging into um, the lifetime value of a client because you know it's it's very very important is understanding the lifetime value, you know, to understand the lifetime value of a client is very, very important within the, you know, within the whole whole process of things. Now, first, I'm going to take you through a, you know, the simplistic way, which is, which, which it is explained, this process is explained. After I've done that, I'm going to take you through um, how I actually, you know, actually do it, which you'll be able to implement specifically for your, you know, for your business. So, 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 so the general pro way that lifetime value of a client is is explained is, let's say hypothetically you've got a, a hairdressing salon, um, and the you know the average person comes in, uh, you know, comes in once a month for a haircut, and while some people stay for you know, for five, ten years, and you might have had your clients for, you know, since the very beginning. Uh, other clients, you know, will stay for a month and they'll leave, and others will stay for six months and 12 months and two years and three years and whatever. But let's say the average is two years. So they're coming back once a month for two years. So, so basically the average person is coming back 24 times, and they're spending $50 each time. So we, t- we times 50 by 24, which equals twelve hundred dollars. So the average client here is worth twelve hundred dollars for this particular, you know, theoretical hairdressing salon. Um, that's what they're, you know, that that's what they're worth. So with that in mind, we can sort of we can sort of look at that and say, mm, well, we can invest now. If we invest a hundred dollars to get a client on board who's only worth fifty dollars, we might say, well, that's a failed advertising campaign. But when we look at it and we go, well, we've invested $100 to get someone worth $1,200 through our doors, we go, that's a very, very successful uh, advertising and marketing campaign. So that's always something uh, that you need to keep in mind uh, whenever you're, you know, whenever you've got a, you know, whenever you're advertising for, you know, for, for new clients. So, so with that in mind, what we've, what we've got here is, um, you know, is, you know, it gives it gives us gives us that figure, but what I found, I, I I sort of had that figure and that theory in mind years and years ago, and I was working with a client. And I'm like, well, how do I work out his specific average value of a of a client? No one had ever explained that to me, and then so I just sort of I did a bit of thinking. I thought, well, we want to work out the average value, so if we can go back as far back as we can. And we can, we should be able to sort of work this out. So, what I did with this client is I went back, sort of ten years. There, a client who's been established, who had been established for a while. Now, if you get, if you haven't been established very long, or your business hasn't been going for for very long, this is going to be 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 trickier 
to do it with this sort of accuracy. And if you've just started up you know, a month ago, you're going to have to guesstimate some of this, um, and it'll become clearer over time. But I went, through, I went, I went back, you know, back, you know, ten years into the into the past, and started to look at, um, you know, what 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 people were worth. And let's just say, hypothetically, in this in this hairdressing salon example, we've got, uh, you know, we've got we got Nancy. You know, she came in for you know for for four months and she was worth worth two hundred dollars. We've got uh, we've got Julie. You know, she came in. She only came in once and then she left and she only paid fifty dollars. Then we've got uh, Sandra, and she spent she she has been a, a long term client. She's around for for quite some time. She's worth three thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. Um, then then we've got Hannah. And she she was worth nine hundred dollars. So 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 I'm just doing this with a handful of clients. You, this if you only do it with a small number of clients, it's not really going to give you an accurate accurate number because you might have just got lucky or unlucky um, with those clients. So the the more clients you do this with, the more statistically significant it's going to be. So so if we add all of those up, the two hundred from Nancy, the fifty from Julie. The three thousand one hundred and fifty dollars from Sandra and the nine hundred dollars from from Hannah, uh, we come up with four thousand three hundred dollars, and and then if we divide four thousand three hundred into uh, you know four thousand three hundred into four, uh, you know we're going to get get about a thousand and seventy five. Um, dollars as a result of uh, you know, that as an average value of a, of a client. Obviously, once you do it with 100, it's going to be much, much, much easier. Now, a little trick with this, if you're working, particularly if you're working with Excel, is if you just put the names you know, in, the, you know, in the A column and then you put the numbers of the amount that they spent in the B column, um, and then in the B column, you can highlight once you've once you've written down the you know say, let's say the the hundred you know the hundred numbers of what each person has spent over their you know over the lifetime that they've been with you. Um, you you and then if you highlight them and you click on something called it's the auto sum uh, key. Now it's in the it's in the home section of um, Microsoft Microsoft Excel. And it's right um, above fill and clear, and next to sort and filter and find and select in the editing editing section there, um, as of the time of, of this recording. If you click on that little auto sum key, it'll it'll tell you exactly what they're you know, what they're all worth. So you don't need a calculator. And then if you've got let's say a hundred of them, you just then divide that number by a hundred, um, and you and that will give you your average you know your your average lifetime value uh, of a customer. And that number will will serve you incredibly well, and it'll it'll basically it'll transform and change the way that you you know that you view your your marketing once you have that number uh, clearly you know clearly clearly in your head. Um, you you do things very differently because you go oh that's not just I'm not just selling a cup of coffee that's a you know a one thousand two thousand three thousand dollar dollar client I, I better do everything I can. Uh, to you know, to take really good care of that uh, you know of of that person. So so that's uh, you know that's that's a really critical thing to um, you know, to to keep in mind you know to, to keep in mind with with uh, you know with that. Um, so 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 in terms of um, you know in terms of the you know the the scope of that. Uh, you really want to dig in and get as many numbers as you, you know, as you, as you possibly can um, with with that. And the more numbers you got, the more you know, the more accurate it's likely to be. Um, you know, you, the more more accurate it's likely to. You know, the whole process is um, is likely likely to be. To help you get more customers, I'm giving away a free gift to everyone who watches this video. It's a brand new guide called Seven Ways to Get More Traffic and Customers, which includes a swag of cheat sheets for getting results fast. Download it for free by clicking the link in the description below this video or visiting moretrafficandcustomers.com.